Governor, how will you unify the country if you win? Well, thank you, Elaine, and thank, thanks for a great discussion. Absolutely. Tonight. Thank you, Senator. This is a very challenging time in the life of our nation. Weakened America's place in the world after the leadership of Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama on the world stage has been followed by an economy that is truly struggling, stifled by an avalanche of more taxes, more regulation, Obamacare, the war on coal, and the kind of trade deals that have put American workers in the back seat. And I think the best way that we can bring people together is through change in Washington, D.C. You know, I served in Washington, D.C. for 12 years in the Congress of the United States. And I served with many Republicans and Democrats, men and women of goodwill. The potential is there to really change the direction of this country, but it's going to take leadership to do it. The American people want to see our nation standing tall on the world stage again. They want to see us supporting our military, rebuilding our military, commanding the respect of the world, and they want to see the American economy off to the races again. They want to see an American comeback. And Donald Trump's entire career has been about building. It's been about it's going through hardship just like a business person does and finding a way through through smarts and ingenuity and resilience to, to fight forward. And, and when Donald Trump becomes president of the United States, we're going to have a stronger America. When you hear him say he wants to make America great again, when we do that, I truly do believe the American people are going to be standing taller. They're going to see that real change can happen after decades of just talking about it. And when that happens, the American people are going to stand tall, stand together, and we'll have the kind of unity that's been missing for way too long. All right, gentlemen, thank you so much.